Hello friends, how are you? Hope you are doing well. So friends, this is the tutorial number 10 of Linux tutorial series. So friends, in today's session, we will discuss uh, one important interview questions. That is, uh, what are the difference between init and system D daemon? Okay. So friends, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now for more videos related to different cloud technologies, different DevOps tools, VMware administrations, Linux administrations, and many more latest technology. So let's see. So friends, I have prepared one consolidated sheet for you uh, to you know or uh, you know uh, to make the difference uh, between the init and systemd. So we'll discuss one by one. So first difference init. So it is the starting process in RHEL 4, 5 and 6. So it is the starting process. So when the system will run, init is the first process, it will get started. After that, all process will get started. Okay. But in system D, it is a starting process in RHEL 7. So in case of RHEL 7, system D is the first process. Okay. Second difference is its process ID is 1 init process id is 1 because that it is getting started first so process id or pid is 1 and in case of system d also pid also 1 then third difference it will take more time to start the system and services so init generally take more time to start the system and services but in case of system d it will take less time to start the system and services when compared to the RHL6, if you will compare with the RHL6, okay, it will, the system D will take, you know, less time to start the system and services. Then fourth defense, it will start the services one by one, okay, in it will start the services one by one, but system D service will, you know, uh, the services will start parallelly, not one by one. So that's why system D is faster than in it, okay, then the fifth difference. All the Linux services are ends with letter D. Okay, example SSSD, HTTPD, cron D. But in system D or in RHL 7, so all the services end with a letter. SSSD dot service, HTTPD dot service, etc. etc. Okay, so these are the difference. Okay, you will mean the most of the interview, the interview will ask this type of questions. Okay, so friends, hope you can uh, enjoy the sessions. Stay tuned for next videos. Thank you.